Welcome to the very first edition of the 2020 fall coaching series, looking at Dartmouth sports not competing in the fall 2020 season and how teams are preparing it. Today's episode features women's soccer head coach, Ron Rainey. Ron, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Pat. Kind of different circumstances for you this year than, than in many years in the past as a, as a coach who's been doing it for a long time. What's it like right now kind of being home and not be able to kind of be with your team on a regular basis? It's tough. It's tough for sure. You know, this is, this is the most fun part of the year. Even when with all the ups and downs and those type of things, it's fun to just see teams come together. And um, I do think our players have been pretty resilient during this and um, they're, they're making the best of things. I know that our freshmen who this is their first fall on campus don't know anything different and um, are happy to be getting out of quarantine and looking forward to training, um, as are the others that are on campus and able to do that um, starting next week. That's an interesting topic when you talk about getting ready for training. You know, usually you're, you're five, six games maybe into it at this point of the year. So when phase one starts and they're able to work in smaller groups, what's your interaction with them and support staff, the strength and conditioning coaches, the athletic trainers? I, it, it, you know, it's one, I think, I think the college has done a really good job um, go like getting through the phases. If you look at our COVID dashboard, I mean, our cases are really low. Not many people have contracted COVID and, and, and that's probably necessary being in the upper Valley. So like, like we wouldn't be able to handle tons of cases. And I think the school, you know, laid out a plan, um, that, that aired on the side of being cautious and safe. And now we're at this place where we can train. And so I'm, I, I'm excited about that. The players are excited about that. But shoot, there's, there's definitely going to be some re-socialization from a standpoint of um, working with athletes um, now and with our support people and those type of things to make sure that we don't ramp up too quickly because we don't want to have anybody take any soft muscle injuries or anything like that kind of have an understanding of what the conditioning should look like, you know, as far as the pace and intensity and those type of things. Um, but a lot of it is really going to be to just add to a, a connection that our, that our team has with each other um, and with the coaches, which I think is one of the most important things this fall. Talking about connections, what's been the communication level since March and then how has it changed up through what would have been preseason and now what would have been your regular season? Yeah, what we've leaned, we've leaned on our leadership group to say, okay, are, are we doing too much on Zoom? Are we not doing enough on Zoom? What are the type of topics you want to speak about? So we've let them kind of run that. In the spring, we did a lot with um, a tactical Zoom where we showed film from the fall and those type of things. We showed uh, clips of our women's national team playing games and, and tried to have that connect with what our players can do out on the field. Um, and then we also tried to talk about some social justice things that, that we think are real important um, and, and at the forefront of things right now. So that was the spring into summer last year. I think we're at a different stage right now. Um, since we, I mean, we have people in all different situations, some on campus, some off campus. Um, some in the Upper Valley learning remote, some in the Upper Valley in residence. So one of the things we've talked to our players about is if this was a regular fall, we would, as coaches, be around them for two to three hours a day, you know, and mostly practices. But then the connection part would really be for the players when they're hanging out on the green after a practice or going and getting a meal together. So we've tried to this fall have almost like little connection groups fun groups, accountability groups, things like that, and have them be player led, you know, the, because our mission is still the same. Our mission is to be a connected team and to get the most we can out of um, our group from a soccer, from a school, from a person standpoint. Um, and to be honest, there's some things they can do virtually that, that we as coaches um, aren't as versed in. And so if they can do a, 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 a zoom work out together and pull it off or a zoom you know a baking day or a zoom meal day or just you know something where they're doing a socially distanced dinner or things like that um we we want them to run with those things because in the end 
Um, if we if it was a, a regular fall, they'd be doing a lot of things with their teammates after practice, after they leave the locker room and those type of things. Coach Ron Rainey of the Dartmouth women's soccer team, thank you for joining us this morning. Good luck to your team in the fall 2020 in terms of their training and preparation as we move forward to whenever we can play again. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Ron.